Hello, my name is Igor, and as a content creator, when I'm traveling with a small bag, all camera gear I have with me is the small tripod and a GoPro, or this selfie stick with the clip at the end. They are flexible, but it would be much easier to put camera in some direction using a ball head at the end. So I decided to design and 3D print one very light, very easy version. And this will be my first complex design, so probably I will learn a few new things here. And I would like to share that experience with you. So let's get started. I was analyzing some existing ball heads, metallic ball heads. So here we have a cone which push the ring inside up and down. But this surface is too small for plastic, it would break too quickly. And also this design requires a same on the other side. For example, for my primary bar head, I have two screws here because it has to be pushed symmetrically on both sides. So this version works with the steel, but uh, with the plastic, this surface is too small. I need bigger surface to line with, for the pushing. Okay, let's talk about the first version. These are my design steps of the version number one. Uh, the design process was two or three hours, so I cannot show you the full process, only the main steps. Instead, I will talk about each part. Let's talk about the ball first. The ball. Uh, I cropped the end of the ball here, so this can be placed on this surface. This is the printing position. Then here we have 45 degree angle, which with overhang it will not the problem. And this is this is standard one quarter of inch standard rate for camera. Okay, this has to be, be placed in a body. Well, in session analysis we can see better what is inside. As you can see here and here, the it aligned the ball to the body. But we need something to push from the bottom this uh, ball, and that's the pusher. The main part of the pusher is this cylinder, which is under the angle, and of course the screw. The screw has a cone, and here is the treat. It is M10 treat, and when you screw in, it will basically push up this pusher, which will press the bar. Or in the other direction, then it will go down, basically, and um, let me show you the screw in better. So here is the screw, which go inside the pusher. Now, printing of the body was Basically, without the problem, only I noticed that uh, this part here, this wall is too thin, not enough uh, for this M10 treat. So, uh, here we need more space for, for the treat. And this hole also requires some post processing when it's done. And the main problem was the pusher. As I mentioned, this cylinder under the angle is the main part of this pusher, and when I print this, basically it will lie down a little bit this surface because it is too big overhang for the 3D printing. And here you can see the printing process. So this version requires a lot of post processing with the sandpaper or similar tools to get it work. Screw can be printed on, on this surface, so it, it will be printed without the problem. You don't even have a brim. But I recommend you to print the ball and the screw in uh, PTG, not PLA. The body and the pusher can be printed in PLA. It works fine. I tested it. This trade is a little bit problematic, it's too thin, but it's working. So let's insert the ball. And here you can see this cone where I needed a lot of post processing.
So it's working fine, but, but uh, I don't really like this version because a lot of post processing is needed and too many turns until it's, it's locked, this version. And of course I forget this cutting here. So this is my version number two, improved version. These are design steps for version number two. The working principle is the same as the previous one. The ball is the same. There is no changes with the ball in all three versions. Okay, let's see the body. First you will notice that I cut here this space so the ball can be angled almost 90 degrees if you want to take that angle for shot. And uh, then another improvement in body that this wall for thread is now much wider and this is now M12 thread, not M10. And of course the same screw is also improved. This is better grip here. And biggest improvement is with the pusher. As you can see now it is not cylindrical, this is flat surface and it can be printed with uh, bridging. And also here we have space which cannot be finished with the bridging but it is under 45 degree angle so overhang is not the problem to finish this. As I can see the printing is much better so there is no need for post-processing with the pusher in this version. With the body with this treat I don't like it because there is some post-processing required but you can do it with the regular uh, steel M12 uh, screw treat screw. The screw, this version, can be printed in vertical position. Size this grip surface is much better so you don't even need a brim here, it will be printed without problem. But I recommend you to print this in PETG because it's stronger material. And this is version 2. As I mentioned I added here this cut for, for the head and this is now wider so this is M12 thread and this is the biggest improvement so this can be printed with overhang without needed for any post processing So it's released and now I will lock it. You can see now it's locked. So this version works fine, only I need maybe two rotation until it's fully locked and released. Basically, I wanted to stop here and then I get the idea with the X Center. That's why I built the third version. And this is the final version, version number three. Okay, let's see the ball. As I mentioned, the ball is the same. There is absolutely no changes with the ball. It is very easy to print uh, in this direction. Okay, let's see the body. As you can see, the body, there is a cut for the, the big angle shot. And now let's see the hole. As you can see there are holes but there are no threads anymore. And also at the hole to, for easier printing I added some flat surface here because usually this overhang here is problematic with the 3D printing vertical holes. So now it will be easier to print. There will be no need for post processing of this hole. So here is the pusher and now this is vertical surface. Very easy to print because it will be finished with the bridging. 
and this angle here it cannot be finished with the bridging but it is 45 degree angle for overhang so that will be printed without problem so very easy to print now this pusher no need for any post processing and now the X center why will this pusher go up and down as you can see I changed the name this is not the screw anymore because it's X center so this and these cylinders are in the same center they go inside this body and this cylinder is X centered this means well maybe you can see from this view here see this is not in same center this means when I rotating this it will go up and down Let Turn on the pusher. Here you can see if I'm rotating this X center, the pusher will be pushed up and down. And actually, now I need only 180 degree for full pushing up or releasing the tree. So it is much faster for use this version than the previous version number two, which works correctly, but this version is really my favorite. And also, I added this small uh, sphere here. And there is an arrow, so this has to be lined up for placing this into body. So it lock it in a place. And I added name of my YouTube channel and my website here on the back. And this is the third version printed now. Everything is printed in PTG now. As I mentioned, the ball is not changed in all three versions, it works fine. This is the X center. It was printed in this position. This is the body. As you can see now, in, in the holes I added that uh, finishing on the top of the hole. So now that overbridging of the top of the hole is not the problem because it's printed in this position. And this is the pusher. Now this is the horizontal surface here printed with bridging without any problems. Here I have 45 degree angle. That wasn't a problem for overhang. The only problem I had with this pusher that it, it didn't want to go inside the body for the first. Because I chamfered the edges here and somehow it pushed a little bit out the material. I had to use the sandpaper just a little bit to work out the edge of this pusher. Like this and then it goes inside without any problem. So let's put this together. The ball, the pusher, the X center, there is small ball sphere here, also a triangle on this side, this has goes up. And then all less than half turn is required to completely lock this ball. So I cannot move it with my hand, it's completely locked. And less than half turn now it's completely released. So it really works very fine. I will use this version on my tripod. Only thing I want to do is to test this ball. How strong is it? Can it hold my GoPro without any problem? So I will do some brake test with this ball. Okay, let's break some plastic. Four point six kilograms. Next section is also PLA but with epoxy. It's 
So PTG between 6.5 and 10 kilograms weight can handle with this diameter. Not bad. This is the version I will use it with my tripod. Let's put it on. Right. This is just a ring. Let's try with my super expensive Sony camera when it was 10 years ago. Hello there, are you recording? Probably yes. And you are now on new ballhead. This ballhead will be my first upload to the Tingerverse. You will find the link below in the description of the video. Let's put the GoPro in the house. This is now recorded on my GoPro, mounted on my new 3D printed uh, ball head. But of course, this is designed for GoPro. Definitely, I don't recommend it to use it with a DSLR or any heavier camera. Thank you for watching. I hope you will follow me to my next video too. Bye.